Okay, I will make. Shut the fuck up. I will make a sausage and a tortellini. Shut the fuck up. I do not know what you're talking about. I'm just busy making food, so I I I I I blah blah blah. Sorry for the opening racism. Uh, I forgot to add salt. There we go. Also, there's gonna be one for hot dogs, which I also added. So we're gonna wait for this to boil properly. We're gonna add tortellini in. Uh, it's 900 grams of tortellini. This entire thing. So that's pretty big. And these are some hot dogs. Let's go. They're gonna be delicious. Yeah, cream okay, hot dogs. Apparently they have cheese inside, but probably not because last time I ate them, I got like no cheese. Also, surprising thing uh, they have here in Croatia is... Uh, ah, hidden. This. Ketchup and mayonnaise in the same package, which actually makes the secret sauce from pizza roll, the pizza roll joints uh, down the street. So that's pretty cool. Gotta wait for this to boil. The tortellini takes like 10 minutes, while this is only 3 minutes. Which is why I'm trying to, you know, make the tortellini finish first. Hurry up! Uh, okay, that was so racist. I'm sorry. Okay, so it's definitely time to open this up by now, so... Because water is definitely boiling, if you can tell. That's a lot of steam. I like tortellini. And these are three cheese, three, three different types of cheese in that tortellini. I want to gently open it. Don't want to break it. I want to break the hot dogs. Yeah. Technically. Anyway. It's not all the way in because of one hot dog. One hot dog is going to ruin the rest. There we go. Seriously, another one's trying to sabotage. Sabotage. There we go. It's fine. Anyways, uh, just set her down there. Oh, no! Okay, I definitely put a lot in there. <laughs> Uh, whoopsie, this is 900 grams. This is at least 400 grams in there. So... Yeah, I, I hope the tortellini is good. It looks good. Like tortellini I usually have back home. But it has three different types of cheese, which is pretty neat. So, I'm gonna wait for the three minutes, then I'm gonna set a six minute timer. Just in case, so we don't overcook the tortellini. Can this work better, please? Okay. Uh, just keep it there. Just, just a little further. Right? Okay. Currently in Croatia, it is nice but very boring here. So you know, I'm just making food. So. I mean, I'm forced to make food because we can't really go out to eat because Croatia is stupidly expensive because of inflation and uh, moving over to euros from Kuna. So yeah, but it's fine because they have some actually pretty good stuff to buy from the stores. You know, like Kaufland. Kaufland is probably my favorite store ever. <laughs> they have things my country doesn't have and things my country does have every now and then. Like everything in Croatia, in Kaufland, there's stuff that I don't have back in my hometown, you know, my home country. And it's really cool because it's all like 
uh, it's new stuff pretty much. Every single time it's like, whoa, I don't have that back home, that's so cool. Like, this ketchup mayo I was talking about earlier. My country doesn't have it combined already. I can buy ketchup and mayo separately. They do have a mayo version, right along of the ketchup version. Can this not overspill? Bro, I put too much water in there. Yeah, I definitely Too much water. Uh, uh, I can't grab this. Ah! Turn it off at least. I have a fucking... Pick up my fingers. Pick up my fingers. Where is he? Michael. Oh, I saw my face. Wait, the timer. That's right. Wait, why is it off? Bro. Seven. Timer. Make it what? Five minutes and then we'll see from there. A little bit of water left in the hot dog. It's gonna just take it out. Uh, this is way too big. I'm really compensating for something if I use this. There's no good middle ground for the hot dog. Okay, maybe this will work. The only problem is this is the actual area. This is supposed to be left alone. So it's not actually that big. I mean, just clean the fork since it touched uncooked hot dog. And so did I, actually. Technically, I also did Oh. Okay, you need to stop foaming up. Okay, so that needs to stop foaming up. And these hot dogs better be good. Like yesterday. No wait, sorry, two days ago. Yesterday I had spaghetti. Normal spaghetti. Milan Milanske is what we call Michael. If you haven't noticed, I recently started dubbing some of my videos in my native language. Uh, so if you could, could you please subscribe to that channel? Because I'm trying to like grow uh, my, well it's not really a business, it's trying to grow on YouTube basically. And uh, this channel hasn't been growing much. My second channel, which I just do random stuff and stuff I don't want to talk about. Because uh, they're bad things. Not illegal, per se, but just bad in general. Uh, that one has gained some pretty good traction, 1.2 for 3,000 subscribers. Whereas my main channel fall, fell from 1,025 subs to 1,015, and now it's back to 1,018. So I'm just making another channel. Sorry, you got two subs. looks a little weird, but trust me, it is good. It is very good, this weird looking sauce. I usually add Tabasco, but I don't think I have any Tabasco here with me. I can check, hold on. Well, wouldn't you know what I do? It's all over my fingers. Shake it up. Okay. 
together and you go, <laughs> it doesn't look good. <laughs> it looks weird, it's like blood or someone had their period there. Oh, whoops. I'm drunk, I guess. I use like 5 billion kilos of this sauce because it's just so good. Seriously, you can't blame me on this. You just can't. You gotta try it for yourself and then you'll know what I mean. There's definitely more left in there. Oh yeah, I should have squeezed from the bottom more. Done, even though it's like what eight minutes out of ten, maybe. Yeah, that's good. similar to the ones back at home, just by having three different types of cheese instead of just one cheese. So it's very similar in taste, which is ironic, because even I, I expected like a variety of different types of taste in one. That's, yeah, it is yeah, the audio on this video is not going to be best. Yeah, it's not going to be good. Also, on the channel where I'm... the hell is this? Oh, that's cheese. Yeah. On the channel where I'm going to be um, dubbing all this in Slovene, I'm currently taking on smaller or just really popular videos and translating them to my language. Because I'm just one, one person that's trying to do all this and me talking in videos is very like... Or I'm just... Uh, very, you know, just talking really fast or talking randomly, like now. Haha! <laughs> get get screwed, future me. Future me is not gonna like pass me from now. Oh okay, yeah, it definitely tastes a bit different. Yeah, that's definitely more types of cheese. In one, it took me another taste test to taste that. What is this? I can't tell if that's somehow bacteria. No, that's it's part of the plate. Weird design. Hehe, <laughs> it's part of the design. Ho <laughs> ho ho, I'm so funny. Seriously, because it just feels smooth all over it. Weird design, but okay. pesto here and luckily Kaufland charges like three to four euros which is more than the usual two and a half in Slovenia however it's not as bad where's the pesto oh man it wasn't refrigerated so it's not gonna be as good but at least it's not six euros like in the grocery store at the beach, because it's like right next to a camp. The people camping, you know, they think that the people camping don't really have much of a choice to go to a store, so they just amp up the prices. Six euros for one pesto! The same thing! Six euros! Insane! It's like gas station there. Seriously, like a gas station. I might have done overdone it. That's a lot of totality. Uh, whoops. Probably should have gotten more hot dogs than Tortellini. Like when I was in the store. I 
How did I even? Okay. You tried. Something about eating this after not eating it for a long time just goes so well. Also, I'm going to be buying two phones. One that needs the, the screen replaced, which luckily I ordered a new screen already in ahead of time. And uh, one that's just damaged a little bit, but it's only 20 bucks, so it's not worth repairing. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be cool having a phone, like repairing the phone for the first time. It's a uh, Huawei Y6 from 2019. It's gonna be an exciting challenge to repair it, to be fair. Also, uh, I, I, ah, I'm not at home, so my brothers have just been picking up uh, the door around. Have just been answering the door, and uh, the, 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 the can't words. They've been answering the door and picking up the packages I ordered from Ching Bing Chiling, aka. China, please don't kill me, Chinese government. I'm sorry. So yeah, they're basically picking up my packages. Only one package I didn't receive, which I think was the Ethernet cable, like 10 meters long. But that's fine. I just schedule it for next Monday, so I'll just have to wait a week extra. And I'm getting home at like Wednesday to Thursday, so it's not really a problem. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. See you guys later. Bye.